I'm going to show you something kind of interesting here that deals with geoprocessing. It makes use of Google Maps. And the question that I wanted to answer was a very practical one. I bought a small piece of property here in Los Angeles County recently. And I was kidding somebody. I said, you know, I wonder if there's really kind of an abandoned oil well under this house. And then I thought, you know, this area really was shot through with oil wells. Southern California, the South Bay, the Wilmington area. Lots and lots of oil wells. Hundreds of them. Maybe even thousands. So I thought, I wonder if there was a way for me to find this out. It turns out there is. There's a database that's based on longitude and latitude. So the starting point that you have to establish here is the place that you want to find out about. What is the longitude and the latitude? And it turns out that if you do a Google search, longitude, latitude, Google Maps, you can get to this website here. I'm going to click on that link. And all I have to do is plug in the street address of the location that I'm interested in. And I'm going to get the longitude and the latitude right here. Now I copied these values down and I went searching for a database that the government might supply that would tell me where are all the oil wells in this area. There is a database out there for the state of California, which you see here at 3w's.conservation.ca.gov will get you to the same place that I'm looking at here. And the question I had was, how do I determine if a well is on my property? But when I clicked this, it didn't go anywhere. That was a starting point, but I think this site kind of has things to offer, but you have to go farther than just these simple questions. One thing is this online data. If you click that and you go down here to the GIS maps and well databases, if you knew what the districts were, you could pull data down that way, but I didn't know. So I just went here to all wells in Excel. And this got me several hundred thousand rows. Spent some time downloading this, and it's a really large spreadsheet. But the current versions of Excel will work with it with hundreds of thousands of rows. The earlier versions of Excel won't because they were limited to either 16,000 or 64,000 rows. You need the current version, 2007, 2010. When you get into it, the spreadsheet's a little tough to work with. So what I did was to set up an access database that I linked into that spreadsheet. And doing that, I was able then to pull out just the rows that were somewhat close to the longitude and latitude that I was interested in. To make a long story short, what I got out of it was something like this. Now I did a fairly messy job of this and I didn't preserve the column headings here. There's some names, there's some codes about various kinds of wells. I don't know what those codes mean, I'd have to investigate that further. But here are some longitude and latitudes that are close to the one that I was interested in. If I take a pair of these numbers, longitude and latitude, I'm going to do a control C and copy them, and I'm going to go over to Google Earth. Well, it turns out with Google Earth, you can actually search it by longitude and latitude. And if you do that, this will take you right to the place where that location is. And isn't this interesting? Under this industrial building, right at that point, there used to be an oil well. Now, where is it now? Well, the pumping machinery has been removed and it's been capped off in some way. I don't know what the technology was when they capped this thing off, but there's a big hole in the ground right here that goes down perhaps hundreds, perhaps thousands of feet, and it used to be used to pull oil out of the ground. But let's go back and let's take a look at another one of these. How about this pair? And I'll just go down this list and take a look at these things because I was very curious just where are these abandoned oil wells? What's on top of it now? Well, it turns out this one is under some other industrial thing, sort of off towards the, the area north of Long Beach. And this one looks like it might even be in a parking lot. Let's search for another one. This longitude and latitude has gotten me into an area that 
doesn't look industrial at all. In fact, the closer I get to it, this looks like some kind of a housing tract. And it looks like there's some sort of a structure here, maybe something that somebody's living in. So I'm going to take this little guy and I'm going to pull him down to the street view right in front. And let's let Google Earth show us what we're looking at here. Now, where is this place? And let's just turn all the way around here. Wait a minute. It looks like this is the place right here where that oil well used to be. I'm going to go down the street just a little bit so I can look back this way. And that map tack is pointing to that very location. Could it really be that there used to be an oil well under this house? Let's take a look at another one. Let's see. And now Google Earth is returning us to looks like some sort of an industrial area. Looks like another interesting situation here. Now the map tack for that longitude and latitude seems to descend upon yet another house. Well, let's take the little man here again. Let's put him down to the street view. And the map tack seems to be going kind of between these two fairly new looking properties. It turns out I didn't find any oil well under the piece of property I bought, but it's kind of an eye opener that in areas like this that were heavily populated with oil wells in earlier days, that now a totally different use is being made of the land. I just thought it might make an interesting assignment for students in one of my computer science classes when we talk about geoprocessing to see how these things might be put together, these tools like Google Earth, with commonly available public access databases to find out all sorts of things.